How you doing, Fran Belovich here with Win the Day Training, and we're going to be showing and demonstrating on how to properly barbell hack squat today. That is similar to a deadlift, but reverse, so it's going to be behind your rear, your glutes, your hamstring, your calves, and so forth. Now, with that being said, we want to make a few point of emphasis on with our posture, our hand positioning, our foot positioning, and most importantly, where we should be distributing the weight in our body. Okay, so the first point of emphasis that me personally I like to focus on is keeping my chest from rounding off and my shoulders from rounding off. So this motion, all right, this is a this is a terrible formation. If you're in this position, you're gonna hurt your 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 mid back and your lower back. And we want to always maintain this position in the proper formation of having our chest exposed, really pinching our shoulder blades, keeping our, our head up and our chest really proud. Okay? We don't want to round off our shoulder, then we're going to injure ourselves. Now that's stage one. Stage two, maintaining your eyes up on a specific area, either on the ceiling or wherever it may be, because that's going to force yourself to rise up close to when you look down or out in front of you. You even want to round off and go forward as well, and you're gonna start leaning on your toes. Um, stage three is gonna be your hand positioning. Me, personally, I'm a little shorter guy, you know, I'm not as big as most people, so I'm, I'm, I'm about five, five, six, and um, I like to stay closer or closer wider because I have shorter limbs. So there's no need for me to really adventure out and expose myself by getting my limbs wider than what I'm supposed to be at, okay? So uh, I go thumbs length, away from the first neural. Again, thumb's length with my weak hand, and I'm gonna go pinky's length, all right, for my strong hand, the deadlift grip, okay? Not the hook grip, the deadlift grip. One over, weak hand, one under, strong hand. Um, now, with that being said, I'm gonna line myself here with thumb's length, pinky, pinky uh, length off as well. Now, me personally, I like to sit on top of the barbell and position myself as well. Um, now, with that being said, I like to keep my feet closer than shoulder width. This would be shoulder width. So I'm closer, I'm around hip width. And from this positioning, you don't want to try and pick up the bar from the floor. It doesn't make any sense because it's, it, you're not in the right position. This is not the right position. You want to make sure that everything is aligned from the toes, or, or excuse me, from the heels, knee, hip, shoulder, neck, and head, which is your kinetic chain. And with that being said, we want to maintain our legs at 90 degrees, keeping the bar right behind my, right behind my glutes and right, behind, right on top of my calves and my Achilles. And I'm going to maintain my hips hinging, being very, very, uh, feeling very springy. So they're, they're not very tight, but they're very loose and relaxed. So I want to go up, I'm going to explode and shoot, shoot up, close to forward and out front. So we want to go directly north with our, our lower frame and our upper frame. Okay, so thumbs length, pinky length away from the first neural. Bar is right against my calves. I'm starting my knees at 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Okay, we don't want to be acute because that means our knees are going to be protruding in front of our shoe and the knees are going to be taking the abuse. Opposed to our hips and our glutes, maintaining the stress and always taking abuse, which you're naturally supposed to do. Okay, so head up, chest proud, shoulders not rounded off at all, eyes up. Again, push up the heels, midway through, exhaling. And controlling the weight down in the same manner, most importantly. Okay, so we got our butt down, our legs at 90 degrees, chest proud. Feel for the hand positioning. Eyes up, inhale. Exhale, with no lean at all forward. Just go directly north, up towards the ceiling, and go directly south, returning the formation. Again, legs 90 degrees, head up, chest up. Shoulders proud, pushing off the heels. Exhale, stand directly up. Inhale. Again, pushing off those heels. Very important. You want all the pressure to be right behind you. You don't want nothing to be on the toes. And this is two and a quarter, something I can maintain here. Again, this exercise is phenomenal, phenomenal for people that are looking to get a little more explosive, faster, 
And most importantly, looking to get their, their weights up on the squat and deadlift formation. Again, this is a rear exercise for most of the hamstrings, calves, and glutes. Phenomenal exercise. I highly 